Planning a trip to Disney World on a budget and don't know where to start? Well, we've got you covered. Join us and learn how to save money at Disney World. But first, if you haven't done this yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notified every time we have some new and helpful videos for planning your next Orlando vacation. All right, let's get down to it. Let's talk about tickets. If you're going on a trip to Disney World, this is going to be the most important thing you get. Obviously, you're going to need them to get into the park or else it's just a trip to Orlando, which isn't that bad either. I mean, Orlando's nice, but the whole point is to come to Disney World. Now, there are a couple of different options as far as Disney tickets go. Tickets are based on how many days they're for, who they're for, so whether they're an adult or child, how many parks they're good for, so one park or a park hopper, and whether or not they include Disney Genie Plus. So there's a lot of things to consider. Naturally, a park hopper ticket is going to be more expensive than a base ticket. The park hopper ticket allows guests to go back and forth between the parks. Simple enough. However, if you're going to Disney for a couple of days, maybe it's best to forego the park hopper ticket. You'll save some money over time and you'll be spending more time in the park of your choice versus traveling back and forth from park to park. Also, the more days you purchase, the cheaper your daily price will be, so keep that in mind. Another way to save some money is based on where you're staying during your trip. Obviously, if you're staying at an off-site hotel, it's going to be cheaper than staying at one of the Disney resorts. There are a couple of different options to consider for an off-site hotel, though. Here at Orlando Vacation, we offer plenty of hotel spots that are close to Disney World. A lot of hotel options actually offer complimentary shuttle access as well. Now, not only are you saving some money by being just a few short minutes down the road from Disney World, but you're also saving money on, get this, parking. Hello? Parking at the theme parks has gotten crazy expensive over the years, and having a complimentary shuttle that takes you to the parks can really save you some money during your trip, especially if you're planning to go for a couple of days. Now, if you're going with a bigger group, a vacation home might be a great option to save some money. Depending on how many people go, you can easily split the cost amongst everyone. Plus, you'll have a full kitchen. That means less money to be spent on eating out because you can just cook right at home. Okay, less money there, more money having fun. Which actually brings me to my next point on how to save money on a Disney vacation. Bring some food with you to the parks. Eating at the parks can add up quickly. Bringing some snacks with you to help curb that appetite can help save you money. If you plan on doing this, we recommend bringing non-perishable items and items that won't melt. Popcorn, crackers, chips are just a few ideas. Now that we've covered most of the basics, let's talk about the time of year you should go on a Disney vacation if you're trying to save money. Peak seasons are going to be during your big holidays and during school breaks. These times tend to be the most convenient, so the parks are extra busy. You definitely want to avoid going to the parks during this time because ticket prices will be much higher, lodging will be higher, and there's going to be a ton of people at the parks. It's not going to be a great overall experience and you'll end up paying more money. Not good. For that reason, we recommend going during the off season. The best times are going to be in mid-September through October, January, and the first half of February. During these times, crowds will be lower, tickets will be cheaper, and lodging will be readily available. You also might want to keep an eye out for deals and discounts that may pop up. Throughout the year, we offer great discounts and deals on future bookings. This is especially true during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. Depending on how early you're planning on booking out, this could be a great option. All you need to do is keep your eyes peeled. Another great idea to help save money during your Disney World trip is purchasing Disney gift cards ahead of time. I know this sounds a little weird, but if you have a membership with a wholesaler, you can often find gift cards at a discounted rate. This means you get just a bit more bang for your buck when at the parks. Plus, if you buy these in advance, you can have a bit more control of how much money you'll actually spend while at Disney World. And of course, everyone's favorite, merchandise. We're talking outfits, costumes, Mickey ears, matching shirts, you name it. Naturally, merchandise is going to be more expensive when you're at the parks. For this reason, if there is something you're really wanting to get or wear during your trip, try buying these ahead of time. There's plenty of options online when it comes to all things Disney. You just gotta find them. All right, as always, if you're looking for more tips and tricks for your next Orlando vacation or just need some help planning, be sure to check out our website at orlandovacation.com where we offer the best discounted prices and have a variety of blogs to help you make the most out of your Orlando vacation. All right, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.